the evolution of money from gold to fiat to Bitcoin. For thousands of years, gold has been used as a form of money due to its unique characteristics that make it superior to other forms of currency. However, in 1971, the gold standard was permanently abandoned and the world shifted towards fiat money, such as the U.S. dollar. Over the next few minutes, we will explore the reasons behind this shift and the challenges faced by both gold and fiat money. It also discusses the potential of Bitcoin as a trustless form of money. The Trust Issue with the Gold Standard While gold has several advantages as a form of money, including limited supply, recognizability, weight, malleability, and resistance to corrosion, it also required trust in its authenticity and purity. Counterfeiting gold coins and diluting them to increase purchasing power were common practices throughout history. Recent cases of fake gold being used as collateral in China and diluted gold being sold by Australia's Perth Mint highlight the ongoing issue of trust in gold. The Trust Issue with Fiat Money Fiat money, which is based on trust in the issuing authority, also requires trust in its stability and purchasing power. However, history has shown that this trust is often abused, leading to hyperinflation, government deficits, and rising inequality. The reliance on trust in fiat money raises concerns about its long-term viability as a stable form of currency. The Potential of Bitcoin Bitcoin, often touted as a trustless form of money, relies on verification rather than trust. Transactions can be verified through running a full node, but this process is time-consuming and costly. Many individuals choose to trust third-party services to handle their Bitcoin transactions, reintroducing trust into the system. The trade-off between trust and verification is a fundamental challenge in monetary systems. Striking a Balance As individuals, it is possible to strike a balance between trust and verification by using different forms of money for different purposes. For everyday transactions, trust may be more practical, while for long-term savings, verification becomes crucial to protect wealth. This approach allows individuals to navigate the trade-off between trust and verification in monetary systems. Conclusion The shift from gold to fiat money was driven by a lack of trust in the gold standard. However, both gold and fiat money require trust in their authenticity and stability. Bitcoin offers the potential for a trustless system through verification, but this comes with its own challenges. As individuals, it is possible to strike a balance between trust and verification by using both forms of money for different purposes. By understanding the strengths and weaknesses of each system, individuals can make informed decisions about their financial transactions and wealth protection. As always, do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel, All Things Money, to see more content like this.